All right, uh, this is uh, your boy JJ, your bro, your dude, your man. Well, not your man. I'm her. They're never, you know what I'm saying. And, and Heather. Yes, and me. I want to do something scary, you guys. I want to see scary videos. Yeah, yeah, scary videos. So hopefully this is scarier than what we've been posting. Uh, make sure to comment down below the funniest or dumbest scariest. or weirdest or most scary. bad comment. Um, we'll get featured in the next video. All right, ready? Yeah. Okay, sure. Oh, well, we're watching Newt's Top 5. Like, that wasn't, you know, obvious. And, you know, go over and subscribe to him. I, you know, I'm sure that one more subscriber to the millions that he has right now will mean a lot to him. And like and, and comment. Mm -hmm. We all have our own favorite childhood toys that hold a special place in our heart. We also have our own childhood fears. Scary incidents that are burned into our brain forever. Now, sometimes childhood fears and childhood toys overlap. Here are the top five scary toys caught on camera. Oh, and just to make things a little more disturbing and make this video a little different from the typical scary toys video, these are all toys that people are still buying for their kids today, right now. Links to all of the scary toys are in the description if you want to traumatize yourself all over again. I think it's a toy. I think it's a toy. I never heard of one before. Furby, your best friend, your worst enemy. The kids are terrified of Furby. <gasps> What's that? Hey, oh, it's my like Furby. Furby loves you love and Tickle me. Furby's made national news in 1998 as the first robot ever developed and mass-produced as a consumer device. In this case, a toy for children. Furby spoke its own unique language called Furbish when first purchased, but it was programmed to gradually learn English over time so that it could speak to its child playmate. The launch of this robot did not go as planned. The first release of the Furbies were defective. Robot dolls would randomly freak out, screeching gibberish and making weird facial expressions while rapidly blinking its eyes as if possessed. Turns out the computer chip in the Furby robot was very unstable and often malfunctioned, sending the Furby into a stream of random frightening behavior and speech that often traumatized any child in its presence. <laughs> These random malfunctioning Furbies are now very sought after by toy collectors. But to some, they are nightmarish childhood memories. But forgetting all of that nightmare fuel, Furbies are amazingly still sold today. The newest version is the quote Furby Connect. But there are still concerns even with these new Furbies. In 2016, a UK consumer group warned that a lack of robust security measures made it possible to hack into the toy and use it as a surveillance device. Now, tell me that doesn't sound like a Black Mirror episode. Anyway, did you have a weird Furby scary toy experience yourself? Let me know down in the comments. And if you want one of these beasts in your home, there's a link to buy one down in the description. Creepy doll. Earlier this year, a scary video surfaced of a creepy doll that was supposedly found in a graveyard in Mexico. But creepiest of all, the doll's eyes seemed to follow the viewer as they moved. Well, the video was a hoax, but the doll is very real. It was a creation by Oklahoma artist Julia Lane. Julia's specialty is making very bizarre, creepy dolls, some of which have eyes that follow you wherever you move. Ah. 
These scary toys aren't really made for kids, but are basically amazing pieces of horror art. A link to the doll page is in the description. The Ouija Board If you're a regular viewer of this channel, you know that I did a whole countdown on scary videos with Ouija Boards. And if you watch Casper's site, you know, never ever touch a Ouija Board. Mm -hmm. In the comments of that video, a few people mentioned that it was weird that a Ouija board was sold as a simple children's toy by the Hasbro Toy Company, even though some people characterize it as a device to contact ghosts or possibly even evil spirits. In this spooky clip, a group of teens are using a Ouija board in a graveyard when they begin hearing strange noises. First place I would think if there is a spirit near us, what is your name? You're not moving that cane. Oh, Grandma. You can tell I'm not. What was that? I'm Grandma. Jay. You said I'm Grandma? You know you're old when people just start using phrases and you're like, man, I gotta Google this shit. Like, what does that mean? Grandma. I'm Grandma. Don't tell me this is about to spell Joe. Guys, what? Joe, is this you? Did you hear that? Oh my God, I don't know what to pay attention of. Yeah, I You're know. not moving that. Oh, Grandma, I'm not. <laughs> no, this is not even funny, oh, Grandma. Oh, I'm moving it back. Move right, it, move back. it back. No, to this G. ain't even funny. We move it back to G. Look, look who's grave. Hold on, let me take my fingers off this real quick. Look who's grave we are on right now. Joseph. You can't can you see, see it, it? No, you can't. It says Joseph. Okay. J O S E P H. You can't really see it. You can see it. I just saw it in there. Yeah, you can't see it. What the hell? You're lying. Your grandma. <laughs> Pack up the room. Bro, 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 bro. Are you also grandma out there? I'm totally grandma myself. Bro, who is that? He look like a homeless man. Bro, are you okay? Bro, 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 Go, 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 I don't care, I don't care. I don't know where I am, Ruby. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. They believe that there might be an angry homeless man lurking in the graveyard, so they make a fast retreat. When they return to grab the Ouija board, the driver claims to see this mysterious homeless man yet again. But when the car lights shine on the area, no one is there. Where is he? He's not even nowhere here. I don't see nobody, do you? All right, this is what we got to do, Kane. Are you recording? Yes. We're going to run to the Ouija board. Say goodbye. And try to say goodbye. Okay, ready? Try to say goodbye. Yeah, say goodbye. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, here goes a piece. Come on. How'd you get off the board? I don't know. Come on, come on. Come on. Put, say goodbye. Put your hand on it. Hurry up. Oh, shit, my bad. Goodbye. Did, did we do it? <laughs> Slaps it. Back. What? What? Why is he going so slow? What are you doing? He's not screwed. What was that? You heard what that? What was that? What was that? He's got balls. Wink. Do you see anything up there? The voice is coming from up here and I'm not seeing a goddamn thing. That was either a guy trying to prank us and he knew that I we were alive. I think he was a homeless man. If, yeah, I think he knew that we were, because we, we were saying Joseph out loud, you know? And he probably was like, oh, we should pull a prank on these kids. Okay. Otherwise, that was just some creepy ass shit. I don't know, like, if we just saw a ghost, like, I'm being dead ass serious. I don't know what to think right now. Should I get out and record? Hell no! What? No, no, this is what we should do. Oh my god! 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 I've gone. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. 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 no! 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 Well, here's the thing. Hasbro yeah. still sells Ouija boards, 
I felt. I think it was a legit one. Could be. It could be a homeless person. Or well, I'm just saying. They, yeah. They seem. They seem pretty freaked out. Yeah. As a children's toy, they never stopped. And the game is listed for, quote, two to four players ages eight years and up. Oh, yeah, eight years old. So if you believe the Ouija board is a conduit to evil entities on the other side, well, take note that it is still being marketed as a fun toy for children ages eight and above. So do you think a Ouija board is simply a scary toy suitable for eight-year-olds? Or is it a portal to the My supernatural world? Yeah. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Or, if you want to try it out yourself and see if you can summon some scary shadow being to your home, a link to buy this scary toy is in the video description. The Evil Wand A woman bought her daughter a simple toy at a local dollar store. The so-called Evil Stick Wand was rated for children ages 3 years and above. It looked like a typical child's toy, and the packaging promised, quote, wonderful music, magic, and the fairies. Well, the woman gave her child the toy, and that's not quite what she got. The young girl peels back a plastic sticker on the wand to reveal a demonic-looking little girl who seems to be cutting herself while grinning evilly at the camera. And remember how the toy's packaging promised, quote, wonderful music? Well, here's what the wand played. <laughs> Little girl, been grandma. <laughs> the girl was frightened by the image. The girl's mother was appalled. I'm outraged over it. I want to know how, how they think that that is suitable for a child. But the shop owner's reaction was the most surprising of all. The name on it, it says evil stick. So from the name, I would, ha if I'm buying it for my kid, and I have a lot of kids, and I have young ones, I would inspect it before <laughs> I, I even give it to them. So when this story first went public, it seemed so outlandish that many people on the internet first thought that it was just a hoax. But a YouTuber named Matt Clark went to the same dollar store and purchased this, quote, evil stick wand and confirmed the story. Uh, it's like a, a child's anime series character. Again, that kind of goes with the princess wand, not so much a girl slicing her arm. But anyway, uh, down here in the corner, it says, I can send out the luster of the beauty. I don't know what that means. It's a 100% real children's toy being sold in bargain stores all across the US right now. Heating kind of. doll. A very strange and scary story emerged from the internet late last year. It was said that a new Pinterest craze had emerged on the internet. Sewing your child's lost baby teeth into a doll. Supposedly, mothers on Pinterest were taking up a new craft project, making dolls and sewing their children's lost baby teeth into the mouth of the doll. Like most things... Look at his mom like, are you really going to do that, mom? Like, <laughs> smiling slightly. Well, yes, my child, I am. On the internet, it was all a wild exaggeration. Turns out it was actually an artist known only as Mrs. McGetrick who was making the strange dolls with teeth. Yeah, like the dolls them. are called Fugglers. Fugglers. And despite yeah, the crazy yeah. stories circulated on the internet, the dolls did not have real lost baby teeth. The strange stuff them. figures simply have bizarre yeah. fake teeth no. sewn into their mouths. No. But if that's not weird enough for you, then please keep in mind that in real life, some mothers actually make necklaces from their children's baby teeth. And that is 100% true. Thanks for watching. Well, uh, this brings us to the end of the video. Um, I've definitely learned some things. Yeah, I don't want one of those dolls. We're not going to get one of those dolls. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it was interesting. Had some pretty good toys in there. The whole wand thing was pretty messed up. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Makes me want to go to the dollar store around here and see if they got them. Yeah. Um, th this was four years ago, this video, so I'm sure that's probably long past. Could be. I'll look it up. Oh, okay.
And uh, I, I thank you for watching till the end because you're awesome. Um, do make sure to uh, like, comment, subscribe, comment, stuff. You know, whatever, I guess. Yeah, what mm -hmm. he said. And we'll see you next time. Uh, there will be a uh, future, you know, like uh, the camera's going to get better. Things are going to get better. Yeah. I know you're super looking forward to it. I am, at the very least. Yes, he is. Yeah. He's been doing a lot of research. Yep. And you guys have a wonderful night. Bye. Bye.